Hey, do you remember these? What if I told you that you could bring back the nostalgia? So I took the lens off a disposable camera, drilled a hole in my lens cap, and then used hot glue to create a bit of a ridge that it could, the lens could sit on to be the exact distance away from the sensor that it needed to be to focus. With the Kodak disposable cameras, there's a housing around the lens that you wouldn't necessarily have to create a ridge like I did with the glue, but with the Fujifilm ones, there isn't a housing, so I had to create it with the glue and then use tape and Sharpie so that there's no light coming in around the sides of the lens. Uh, but man, the footage, check this out, you ready? So yeah, this is an awesome little lens, especially for the price of a disposable camera. I can't take credit for this mod, it's actually this guy, uh, Matthew Stern on YouTube, that I got the idea. But I've only ever seen this done with photos, and I wanted to see what it would look like on a mirrorless camera. I mean, the vibrancy that this little lens can produce, it just kind of blows my mind, honestly. So the footage that you're looking at right now is actually just MOV footage out of Magic Lantern. I wanted to see what it would look like with just a Rec. 709 conversion direct out of the camera. Sorry about the focus thoughts. I could have taken into MLV app, transcoded the footage, and got rid of them, but I did not, so suffer through it. I'm gonna show you what this lens can really do if you shoot in RAW and then you do an Ari Alexa color conversion, grade. I mean, it's gonna blow your mind. Ready? You might notice there's, look in the, the brighter part right there, you see that there's like this sort of grid. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it's focus dot. I, I think it might be just because the hole for the lens is so small, the way it hits the sensor just sort of causes those lines. Uh, I can't think of what else it might be. But yeah, I'm sure I'll figure that out. But yeah, that's just, I just want to show you some test footage and uh, show you what this little lens is capable of. Thanks for watching.